Oh, that's a point. Probably be a good idea to have the chat ready up here. Okay, what have we got here? Ba -ba -da -ba. Let's see what we got. What have they been up to? Ah, okay. <laughs> right. Oh. I don't, this is not even live, is it? How do I just... Oh. I've got to say, oh. I hate the Twitch app. Yep. <laughs> Never seems to... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, Devious. Hi. Um, right, what have we got here? Let's uh, sort this out, sort <laughs> this out, and put it on chat only. That's good. Okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to crack on straight away with this because I am late. Um, sorry about that. This would have been nine, but I had to go to like a work party, like a work party thing this evening. Someone was leaving. And I was expecting to get out a lot sooner than I did. And so, yeah, I had to put it back by like an hour, which is um, disappointing because I was looking forward to getting into this. So this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter stream, probably just three until 11, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'm, I'm genuinely, hey, Mr. Shasma, um, I'm genuinely excited about getting back to this now because last week it ended on a, on a cliffhanger of people flashing their backs. So, I'm excited to see where this goes next, and uh, let's get on with it. I still don't know why it says hours played 22, because that makes no sense. Previously during the investigation, but, uh, these puppies are we'll making see. me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd yep. keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green Bay. I'm the sheriff. The worst thing also about going to this like works party stuff something is that because town. I've got a drive, I can't drink. Do you feel it? So don't even get the benefit in that way. So, and this is my last bottle of this as well, which is disappointing. I was going to get some on the way home, but then it ended up going on for significantly longer, so never mind. Welcome back, everyone. Ah, uh, Thomas. All right, here we go. Morgan. It's past 2100. It is past the at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to Let's suggest hook up with thing. Arnold again. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get oh, as many people as I again, can to come, so don't be late. Okay? Don't be late. I won't late. be late. I'll be there. I won't be late. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, Colin Ross Wilson, it's, well, it was an hour late uh, because I had to go to a works thing. And so, yeah, it was late. Which is a bit of a shame, but it's fine. Yeah. Right, okay, let's um let's move on and see what we've got. Uh so what am I doing? I've forgotten. I've got to get somewhere between that time. Let's take the sheriff's car. I don't know Hang on, let's have a look. Alright. I'm not Dave, I'm not hammered, unfortunately, because I was driving so I couldn't drink anything and this is my last bottle which is uh, irritating as well. Uh, normally by this stage I'd be expecting to feel a bit of a buzz but unfortunately not. I don't know what I'm driving to, let's have a look at the map. Right, where are we going? What's that? Oh it's a race thing isn't it? Out. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Okay, can anyone tell me roughly? Does anyone have any idea where where I've got to go? Because I've got no clue. I mean, I know I've got to get somewhere, but I don't know where, and I don't know how I'm driving. Let's see. Uh, oh, 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 o
Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. Oh, that's from Jennifer Gray. You know that, right, Zach? That's why right. Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies. She did, okay. Ferris oh, Bueller's shit. Day I off. shouldn't look at the thing while I'm driving. Directed by John Hughes. She did tell me where, but I don't know where I am in relation Zach, you're not the most cheerful to guy that. But you really do like oh, those cheerful so movies. This. We used to love those teenage movies back then. Did Right. I'm here, so presumably I need to get back on this road again. And. But where? I wish this like, zoomed out more so I got more of an overview. See, like, people are telling me turn left, turn right. I don't know, because I can't turn left or right here anyway. Um. What's over there? Why is there a dog bone? I don't know where I'm going. Right, okay. Need to talk to the townsfolk at the town meeting. Okay, well I know I've got to do that, but where is the town meeting taking place? Oh no, wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. There's this, isn't there? Is it this way? Yeah, it's here. Now, what's annoying is you can't set a waypoint which is still irritating. So I'm gonna have to try and figure this out. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Can I just drive along this track? Let's go where that, where that dog bone is and see if we can figure it out. Okay, let's go this way. There's almost certainly an audio delay that happens. Um, okay, let's go this way. See, I'm not, I'm not all fancy with my setup like Matt. I haven't got my Elgato out and uh, yeah, so I'm just I'm just streaming from the from the Xbox, which, as we all know, is the worst console this generation. Okay. There we go. Whee. Okay. I'm going up for that bone. See, I can sleep in that little hut. I'm not going to though. I'm going to take this. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Right, it's the old Garto. Oh no, I'm worried that the car's gonna get destroyed now. That's another worry. I can't why did that right over here. Get straight. So why would you just put a thing in the uh oh, never mind. I must be near the bone by now. I need to make sure that I get to the right place so that then I don't mess up later. But what is this dog bone? I'm going to have a look. Zach, is there also, something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community yeah, centre by 1500 today. Just think I know, of I know. talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. Oh, I've forgotten the controls again. Every week, forget the controls. So what is this then? It's just a load of... Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Hang on. Let's get shooting. There's something up that tree. Probably don't need the submachine gun. Oh, that's the wrong button. See, every week I completely forget what the controls are. There we go. Where did that go? Oh, it's over there. It's a skull. Why have I got a skull? Why is there a skull up a tree? A human bone? This doesn't it's look like a bone, it's a case, tree. Shouldn't thing. I let someone know? Right. Okay, let's get going. Why do we just dress up as a baby? That's just weird, Dave. Really weird.
That is a quality side mission, Mr. Chasmile. Now hopefully I'm still going the right way. Why not walk much more than I'm one? I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975. Directed by Steven Spielberg. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Close Encounters? Grandfather of Panic Movies. No, that was crazy. Set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid oh, that a hand would come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Absolutely. It's Jaws. The only word I had to work accompanied by that Will John Williams music. Been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just <sighs> a panic movie. The mayor won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. Getting closer. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two hour film. Right, okay. Another reason why I'm so right, yeah. breaking it. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me of that. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. Second Back to the Future. It was directed yeah, it's by true. Lawrence and Agnes, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but... We'll it was the 3D time. Jaws, I think, as I, as I so recall. So where Jaws appears. It's right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked to right, okay. get closer. Oh. Zach, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. Right. I'm not dressing up as Matt. That's ridiculous. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I've got nothing left here. Zach, I'm not shaving it off. For people to come not yet, anyway. 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here. Right, right okay, now. so... Let's come back at the right time. Okay, so if I smoke a cigarette now in the game, then hopefully they'll be back. I don't need to take my gun out. Put the gun away. Yeah, <laughs> 14 layers of tops. <laughs> yep, that would be, uh, be work. Right, okay. I would have my ripped jeans and some like long johns or whatever underneath. Would be the other thing. Right, let's have a cigarette. And kill some time here. I'm just gonna. I see. I didn't trust, like driving. Yeah, and, and the skateboard. Obviously, I didn't trust going back to somewhere to sleep because uh, it would go badly. So it's now twelve. Huh? What's happened here? Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I've not experienced this before. Uh, okay. Let's have a look and see if I can get some food. What does the stabiliser do? Uh, right, I've got a black coffee. Let's have that. That's, that's helped. And a can of pickles. That'll help. Oh, and that turkey sandwich that I found in that, that drawer. Let's eat that. Oh, it's done a lot. That's pretty good. Okay, let's have another coffee. Uh, see, I'm not tired now. Right. What? Where are these coming from? I wasn't expecting this at all. Yes. Right. I, 
better get back to the car and go and have a sleep, I think. I really was not expecting that. Oh, gosh, run him over. See if I can get back to somewhere to sleep. Uh, oh, there's a place there. Right, so if I go out of here, along there, along there, get out of here now. It's weird, isn't it? I wasn't expecting. They're all coming out the floor still. I've had coffee and everything, I should be fine. Zach, picking up from where we left off. Okay, Zach, so I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. Oh, what there? It's always hard oh, wow, to I just ran someone down. Movie, cool. But I've put a lot of thought into this. Right, I'm not going sure to write you about 1975. Directed by Stephen. Hmm? I don't want to get out of the car. So we'll finish our chat. I wanted to look at the map. Let's take a walk around here. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community no, center not. by 1500 I just want to get today. Sleep. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? Well, yeah, it's it's like going to get fun. Right, okay, that was good. That's like uh, Carmageddon, this. This way? Let's have a look. Is this the right way? Yep, all the way along here. And then we're there. I'll tell you what, this is this is pretty cool actually. Like the whole sleep deprivation thing and then ending up with this all going weird. But then that does kind of indicate that obviously this is all in his head. Right, let's keep going. I mean, the biggest criticism I've got of this is that I wish that you could um, set waypoints. It would make this a lot easier. Why are you going to be sick? Right, I can sleep here, I think. Oh! I was hoping that was just going to smash, but it didn't. How do I get in here then? Do I have to go all the way around here? Do I go that one? Oh no, that's the lake. Ah! Oh! 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 <laughs> that genuinely scared me. Oh! I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Oh, that was that was a that was legit scary. Right, where's this place? I can see? okay, we're over there. Right, no, I don't want to get that thing. Right. Is that all I... Picking up from where we. Hmm? I'm worried that thing is going to be around. Finish our chat later. Oh, Let's take a walk that's around scared. here, shall we? I need to get... Where's my sleeping? Oh, okay, sleeping here. Oh, crap, that scared me. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay, uh, let's think about this moderate sleep. That will take me to six in the morning. Nine in the morning would be okay. I think I can go for nine. Hopefully it's all going to be fine when mm. I wake up. That was scary, that was. Oh. Right. Fortunately, the creepy dog's gone. Oh, 
And <laughs> was not expecting that. At least the upbeat music's back. Oh, no, not like that. Where's the exit? I should get there by three. Exactly. Picking up from where we last off. Okay, so I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. Oh, we've and already had this conversation. conversation. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg See you, Dave. himself. I've also Set played Crackdown today uh, for a couple of hours, that movie made me and I have thoughts about it, years. which obviously will come out on the, on the show probably. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. It's Jaws. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I've never been that scared by a movie before. Which one have I got? Hmm? I could get a sandwich, shouldn't I? Zach, we'll Let's get a sandwich later. Let's take a walk around here. We could do that. I'm gonna get a sandwich. Oh, I keep getting my gun out, I don't mean to. God, that was genuinely scary, that dog. I don't like dogs that much, you see. I'm a, I'm a cat person. But, uh, yeah. Not here. Okay, where can't do the buying? Talk to Olivia again. I know I'm not allowed in there. Hey, I know. I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps well, you would give me your food. permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in yep. his. Okay. I just want to buy something. Where do I do it? That's not going to help. Where do I do the buying? Was it those things outside? I just wanted to buy a sandwich. Is it here? What? Can someone tell me how to buy a sandwich? I mean, I know there was somebody at the counter, but then she walked off. I just want to buy a sandwich. It's been a long day, I saw a horrible dog. Let's try again. Oh, right. Let's have a chat Hi with there. Olivia. Yes, I would like to. Oh, can we just get on with it? Yes. Right, what should we buy? What's this? Why is it all knife and fork? Okay. Uh, cornbread. Roast to... I mean, I'm rich. I've got like $5,000. Because I seem to get paid like about $2,000 a day. Uh, what's the most expensive thing on the menu? Ah, oh, it's going to have to be the roast turkey. Mm. There we go. Mm. He's loving that. Let's get something else. Uh, I'm going to go for the clam chowder as well. Never had that, but I did eat a lot. Right, he's all good. 
there's not going to be any more nasty, uh, nasty incidents, I think. You know, I went in there just for a sandwich and ended up with um, the roast turkey. Are there flies in here? Disgusting. Right, where are we going? Where's my car? Oh, there's my car. Okay. Right, what's the time? Okay, I've still got time to get there, I think. down to the end of the street and turn left. I'm not going to talk to you. There's no point just going to talk about the, whatever film he wants to watch. It is going to be the same thing, isn't it? I've been thinking about what movie I'm going to watch next. And finally, I've made a decision to go cross country. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie. But I've put a lot of thought into this. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975. Directed by Steven Spielberg himself. The grandfather of panic movies. Set in a small town in Massachusetts. Right. That movie made Pops. me stay away from the beach for years. I was afraid that I had. Oh. Zach, we're here. Right, we're Let's here continue our chat. in the right time. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between yeah, I know, between three and five, and we know this. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. Cigarette time, innit? Uh, so I've got to wait until three, right? So I'm having like a six hour cigarette break. Oh, 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 right. Okay, that'll do. Right, let's go and have a chat with the with these uh, townspeople. There we go. It's open mic night. Right, this is going to be interesting. Greenvale Community Centre. What's with the flies everywhere? Oh no, he's got B.O. He's got body odour, isn't he? That's what's happened. That's why he's got all those flies flying around. It's me. Not me. Him. That's what it is. Because it said that I was smelly when I woke up. Zach, I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. Is he going to some tree arriving? in the wind this time? <laughs> There's a piece of scenery. <laughs> Comment. Getting right down to business. Oh. Agent Morgan <laughs> from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. He's literally got flies flying around him. With you. Good afternoon. 
I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Most people call Some me Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. And what are all these flies around me? It's, uh, I didn't change my clothes today. I've come today. to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. And to bring the one responsible <laughs> to justice. <laughs> you might be wondering why I've got all these flies around me. Oh. Unfortunately, incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. I asked to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal Man, incidents. she's going to be well put off by this. Firstly, please, stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. He's talking about the sheriff. Those of you with children, especially of Anna's age, please guide your children away from such places at all costs. Secondly, I think I do need to go bath when it is raining. Now I, I look forward to fuck. It's not a very charismatic speaker, it's got to be said. I would hate to see more victims. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've got track two playing. Worried already, you know what kind of a man York is. Excuse me. So, as I have said, avoid going outside <laughs> when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught and brought to justice. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That's all I have to How say. How many people have turned up, haven't Thank I? Thank you. Just don't care. Now, the question is, do I... Oh, it's him. Psychomantis. I do, you know, I love that. That is one of the single best things that I've seen in this game so far. The idea that he just smells when so bad that he flies sins, circling. We must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. When purple fog covers our town. All wander in hell, my friend. So says Mr. Stewart. Go on, wheel Psychomantis out. Sure knows how to steal thunder. Well, well then, Zach. It's also not surrounded by some questions before all these guys leave. chat with George. Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. Do you know, just to think, right, I disparaged that shop for having all those flies in it because I thought it was, like, unhygienic. Turns out it's me. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. <laughs> Thomas, I As your sister since 1975. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Go and flash your back. I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? 
go yes, flash you back. Please. This is vital for our investigation. Okay. If it's gonna help you any. Is he gonna do it on stage? <laughs> what? I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that, did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? Okay, I'm wondering here though, you want to do see I bother having a bath or should I just leave it and see a how dirty we can get? Through it and love G in the center. Got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. Right, let's have a chat with Emily. Quite a performance. Oh. Mysterious and very poetic. But I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Moore. A purple fog appears with rain. Oh, we've heard this already. And ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boiled. Then an old well, the shower. case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime. But if you, Mr. York, find the right timing to chat with me, that is, with Mr. Stewart, me, informative and fruitful, you will see. Again, music so too loud. Mr. Stewart. So, Harry, I don't know what Mr. Stewart said, music is too loud. But there's some reason why you can't tell me yet. Is that what you're trying to say? Cut the poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We can force you to talk, you know. Mr. Francis York Moore, pay close attention to the signs. <laughs> he has noticed the flies, was he? Was that real? Small they may be, they still are finds and helpful to your investigations. Man, look how creepy the so says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zach, we know what we're doing. Okay, let's have a chat with some more people. Suspects? Okay, I want to have a chat with Emily. Ooh. I'll be taking that. Agent York, are you finished asking questions yet? When you're done, let me nope. know. We'll all get dinner. Hmm. Well, I can't chat to any of these people. They're all just sitting there. But apparently outside there's some suspects. So let's go and take a look. Unfortunately, Colin Ross Wilson, I don't think it's going to be a date because she said we're all going to it. Oh, he's creepy, isn't he? Let's have a chat. Good evening. Agent. Good evening, Mr. Brian, the gravekeeper. <clears throat> He's not Brian. Mr. Brian. up to a stereotype at all. I like the retro look. Andre, you must be used to the flies. Conditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie? Anna. Hello. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. Mm. Too, too soon to go to the grave. So sad. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here, looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Mm. Anna, <laughs> her smile, so warm. Anna, blonde hair, so bright. <coughs> Learn nothing There's there. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zach. 
I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. Right, let's have a chat with these. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. wearing Matt's trousers. So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? Quint Dunn. Nice. I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you. But it means the death of a friend to me. And I want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good point. You can't always count on the police now, can you? But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator like you yourself, you. Quint. How do you know my name? You told me. I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. I also know oh, no, about no, 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 you didn't. and your oh, here, significant other. No. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. I'm creepy. Sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? <laughs> no, he's getting nervous. Okay, Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. And that was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even <laughs> kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can Quint, read him like of a course. book. I mean, that, that is obviously what you probably go for. Right. Who else have we got that we can have a chat with? His, uh, his friend? You're York, right? I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the darts bar. Sweary 65. Uh, so that's what we did there. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. I mean, murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? Well, I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all. Just like her mother, Sally. What do you know about Sally? Well, I, I went all through school with her right here in town. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Ah, oh, well, see, she lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. She's at what do you mean, right Scientologist? Are you trying to all. miss you it? You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. Right. Oh, another suspect. Agent York. Oh, you making no. progress? that was the, the dude, wasn't it? With the, uh, of course. You'll Plenty. see. Uh, tell me, Usher, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Sally isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Yeah, Love hey, Scientologist. I don't see her here. Yeah, I was also out this evening, which is I was late reason back. for living after her husband was deceased. Well, she's probably huddled up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Uh, but don't go too hard on her, okay? Right. What about Fiona? Oh, she was the, yeah, the glasses. Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, I was not. but he well, seems like a wise man. <laughs> it was oh, okay. and he's a very hardworking <coughs> oh, Sorry. Everyone I'll thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day, but I do. He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. You know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zach. He must be loaded. 
rich and young. <laughs> a perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. Come on, Doctor. We all know that you're loaded, rich, and young. What else we got here? Ooh, solid snake. So you're the FBI agent, are you? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm the general. I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. A real-life war hero. So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore, not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happen in this town. It is. Why has he got that I'm belt interested. around his arm? Is he like a heroin addict? Can you addict? tell me more about this? <laughs> you kids today don't even know how to ask for something right. Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my office. Well, that's the thing, Scientology. I mean, I'm thinking of just leaving it to see how many flies I can Despite attract. the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Right, there we go. I just want to see how many I could attract. Bugs, that is. Can you tell me if you noticed anything strange about Anna before the incident? Well, I'm not sure if this will be of any help, but... Anything, no matter how small, could be of help. Well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. I'm thinking, anyway, Mr. Shysmart, I'm just going to leave it for the whole game. The day after it rained, and came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster mm. really kill her? It wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. Criminal I'm going to so catch. He's saying all that, but justice. he's seen this thing. Very high, high I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner that Anna worked at? That's right. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? <laughs> Nick, are you hiding something? No, nothing. You sure? I'm sorry, but I don't like repeating myself. Oh, bloody hell. I mean, this is just... I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Wesley, owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. People around here call me the gunsmith. Was there something He's you want to ask me? Merchandise as well. How do you make a living running so a, a town gun meeting store for some reason? Like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope so. Oh, wow, I can pick up. Okay, let's buy some stuff. Um, let's buy some ammo.
and we pop. Might as well stock out. You never know where you're going to need them. <coughs> right, okay, I'm done. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Even today, a one customer gun. paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see. Well, I'll be sure to visit your store sometime. That is I a good point. Take a look at my Where is the music? Understood. Look forward to it. The I shop will be open again tracks. tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 0600. See you then. Oh, I've got to talk to this guy. <laughs> I'll be doing that face as well. Hey there, FBI. I'm Keith Ingram. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. Okay, York. No problem, man. So, Keith. I, reckon I Keith hear you did run it. the Milk Barn convenience store. That's right, man. Rock and roll! Do you sell prick. raincoats there by any chance? Yeah, but nobody ever buys them, though. Anyone who wears one of them, Probably I say, just ain't then. a rocker. But you know, that scar of yours. Now that scar rocks. This scar rocks? <laughs> now that's a new one. I'll drop by your store soon, and let's talk then. Yeah, cool, man. Rock on, FBI! Man, this is like Shamu level. <clears throat> right, okay, who's this? It is a grown up Goro, that's the thing. You're Isaac and his teenage mother. bride, though. Yes, I'm Lily. I'm FBI Special Agent. Agent York, right? You are good. <laughs> the handsome special agent from the it. big city. The facial scar trademark. The way you introduce yourself. Everyone's talking about you. Well, I can't say much about the scar. But the way I introduce myself, Zach and I consider it a kind of ritual of sorts. Everyone has their own rituals. It's like always leaving the house left foot first. It's one of those things. <laughs> you certainly are a funny one. So, I've have you already. noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Well, Becky's been taking a couple of days off from work, but aside from that, I heard she was in shock after the murder. But... You think there's something else? Well, I took the boys along to see her today. She's always so kind to them, and they love seeing her too. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special well, secret cool. between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Sounds like a Rolf Harris situation. Thank you, Lily. Let's go and talk to her. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zach. God, who else is there to talk to? I mean, surely this must be everybody. This, like, everybody's here. Okay, so we've got Polly. We are... Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Really? Thank you, Polly. You she really hasn't seen anybody. You reminded me a little yet. of a play I saw when I was younger. What kind of play? I'm talking about back when this place was still called the Mercury Theater. When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. God rest his soul. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. He'd always pretend to be uninterested. But I could tell he was excited inside. He was just one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about it now. Oh, can we just walk away from her while she's chatting? So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but I can't recall the name anymore. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, um... Nothing. One more.
more bell that doesn't ring anymore. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. He'd go on for hours retelling what the play was about. Yeah, I think we get the picture. His eyes were so sparkling, like a happy young boy. I see. So, what's your favourite? Don't prolong it. Well, this is I irrelevant to the investigation. Mr. Morgan, we're going to have another guest soon. I have to get back and get things ready. Sorry for having to hurry away. Yeah. I'll see you back at the hotel. Zack, I think she could embarrass the toughest of the FBI's interrogators. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zack. Amazing. <sighs> right, so we've got another suspect here. Comedy music. Oh my! My heart is getting cold. Hey, mister. It's for another reason, My obviously. Pot is getting cold. You are who? What are you saying? I'm Sigourney. 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 Okay. Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I need to hurry. My pot is getting colder. Oh, you're useless. Zach, we've met all sorts today, but really, she takes the cake. Amazing. It is the not log lady, yeah. That's a very good point. Right, okay. Come on, I must have seen nearly everybody by now. Jim. What's Jim up to? Thanks for your help in the forest. I don't even remember the Jim. and Isaiah. They're fine. They really seem to love their grandpa. Well, I guess they do, son. I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Their mother agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. And that's why I want you to solve this case quickly and go home. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage than good around here. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? He certainly reeks. I have to in order to do my job. But I understand what you mean. I'd think the same if I was born in a place like this, Zack. Right, surely this is the last suspects. Hey, good looking. Nice speech. Hey, Gina. And you are? Oh, I'm Gina. I'm married to Jack. He runs the gas station. Call me the Rose. You look pretty... revealing. Oh, <laughs> this old thing? Oh, you should see some of my other clothes. You? Oh, now you are cool. That scar really is a turn-on. You should come to my station. I'll give you a little extra service. That would be great. <laughs> I can't believe how expensive gasoline is nowadays. Some extra service would be great. Now, about my current case. Do you have any information on Anna? Have you seen anything suspicious? Oh, I don't know. Talk to my hubby she about the She does look like stuff, a dead or alive okay? character. This is getting us nowhere, Zach. She's probably put up for the flies. Right, let's have a chat with this guy. I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up. Man, Akira has let himself go. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. If you want info, <laughs> it'll cost you. I only talk to Ben Franklin. You know, first impressions are important. I can detain you for a few days, and maybe you'll become more fun to meet. <laughs> <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Someone's sleeping. Right, okay, I think I've chatted with everyone now. Let's, um... 
let's have a chat with the uh, with the lady, and then maybe we can move on. They spat at me. That's uh, that's not nice. Right, let's go for dinner. Emily, I'm done. I've learned nothing. Huh? It would not let me. Ugh. Obviously, I haven't spoken to everybody yet. Cigarettes. Who's Carol? I don't remember. Oh no, no, this is the yeah, the the sister. Anna was an airhead. What do you mean? Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead, or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead, even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gain one, and she'd almost be in tears. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner, and she'd always have a smile on her face, always having fun. Everyone looked at her and knew she was a cute, adorable, loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along with her. I wouldn't be surprised if the angels smiled with her too. <laughs> Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest. This is the, the Twin Peaks nice. music. Agent right, Morgan, now? I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Sounds like a plan. I'm making serious bank playing this. Right, and with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night today because, yeah, I'm really tired. Let's be honest. And uh, this has been this has been an interesting stream, I'd say. Well then, uh, your the flies have been a have welcome addition. For this evening? And I was, uh, I was scared by a dog, which was nice. So, uh, thank you HQ everybody for watching. I really, to. really appreciate okay. it. And I'll be back uh, next Friday Sounds for good. a longer I'm stream, uh, so I can get a bit further in. Uh, Matt will be back on Sunday with his Bloodborne, and Sean will be back on Tuesday with Indeterminate Indie Game thing. Um, so thanks again, and uh, I'll see you later. Um, take care.